It's the complimentary breakfast. The one and only legendary Frank Opperman. Hello. Hello. Goeiemorgen. Jy sê, dis nog wel een intro daai, baie dankie. Ore, my jou vriend. Oormorgen. Hy is net terug van, ek en hy praat net oor die amazing show wat by in die bos was. Show's naam is Hond. Sy een man vertooning. Weet jy wat is my aard gewees, net net oor een man vertooning, want jy het op een stadium gesê, jy loved it. Jy loved die feit dat daar is nie in die middel breek jy nie. Jy gaan op, is net jy, jy maak het klaar. Want hy takes a lot of effort, die een man show's. Ja, want mens kan nie twee man show sien, as mens probeer een leven maak, die is daar as een kunstenaar, as jy nou twee mense is, dan word hy geld in die helft verdeel, as jy drie is, dan sit in die derde, as jy ses acteers is, dan sal niks vir niemand nie. So mens word maar genoot saak om syke goeders te doen, ek sal baie graag wil deel wees van, weet ek, behoorlijke groot theaterproductie, maar mens kan het net nie meer bekostig. En as jy wil weet hoe hardcore het is, Frank sal as jou hond, daar was ook nie een hond op die verhoog, want jy is die hond iets moet gees, he. Of om het voel. Nee, ek het daarom gezien, so nou en dan nie weet, want ek praat met so'n honde Mikey, en dan kyk die mense daarom vir die honde Mikey, en dan besef ek al wat hulle is allemaal so half saam met my. Weet nie, maar wat is show, en jy moet verstaan, is nie net hartseer nie, want het gaan oor een ouse hond, die hond is op sy laaste, jy moet nou besluit om om uit te sit. En die karakter is, Dana Snyman het die toneelstuk geskryf, en het gaan oor een, skryver wat vir huisgenoot skryf en dan nou, jy weet dit is nou wat hy nou vandag moet doen, is nou hierdie wat doen hy nou met sy hond vandag en dan is het tussen die skryf en nog hierdie huisgenoot stories ook oor mense hekkie rood 39 wat in sy Toyota Camry in die Jetpark Mall sy parkeerterrein in Kempton Park bly. Weet ons die ander so tussen die heer bezig met hierdie met hierdie type van story. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Frank is also here for a reason. I need to tell you a little bit of history about this man and while he's sitting here, he actually started my entire career. Now, yes, you did. I'll tell you what happened. Now, Frank Opperman used to listen to my show at Tux FM when I was still a DJ there. And when they started up a talk station called Pint Talk Radio, Frank was the guy that said to the owner of that station to appoint me, to give me a job. Yeah, he had first my phone and said, but he will ask you something. He said, no, it's no way. He will ask you something, but I know that from an other hour, I'm going to listen to the next one. Bell him. That's all what I've been doing. So to give Frank for me the opportunity, you had for me the opportunity to give me. Wow. No, 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 you had the opportunity to give me. I don't want to give credit to you. You are absolutely brilliant enough. Frank, you don't have a case. He's giving you the credit. Just take it. You know what? Okay, then be gentle this morning. That's it. So what do you do? Wat toe gebeur het dan? Punt Radio het geleid tot voor Bloody TV show en het geleid hele paar ander dinge. Dit was die begin van my loopbaan. So Frank, jy is eindelijk hier die hale ou om hier te wees, wat ek my om my aankondiging maak, want dit het my nou geforceer om het nou te doen. Wat sy aankondiging? Hierdie is nou amtelijk my laaste jaar by Jackaranda FM op die breakfast show. This is my final year at Jackaranda FM on the breakfast show. So from today there'll be a year that I'm done. Nou maar, wat gaan nou gebeur, waarover gaan mense kan klaar, waarover gaan mense inbel, waarmee gaan ons die korante se blaie vol maak? Ja, I'm sure they'll, hy sal wel een kut kry waar hy kan gaan moeilikheid maak. I'm sure they'll find someone, but it's gonna be a year that I'm checking out, so I'm cashing in my chips, and there'll be a new guy behind this microphone a year from now. So, but here's what we're gonna do in the next year, we're gonna make sure that we give you the kind of radio that you will not forget ever in your life. So I did convince them as part of my uh, retirement package yeah. that in the next year we can bring you all this stuff on my bucket list that I never got to do. Like we did yesterday. We wanted cheese the entire morning, so we threw out the playlist and we just started playing all the cheesy tracks we always wanted <laughs> yeah. to listen to on a Monday morning. So we threw it out and we just played our own stuff. So you're going to hear mo- a lot of these things the next year as I, as I close off this chapter in my life. But trust me on one thing, the radio is going to be off the charts. We're going to bring you stuff like you've never heard before. You, you never would have heard these things. And this is all going to roll out over the next year. When I retire from here, which will be in a year from now, I guarantee you, you're not going to forget the complimentary breakfast show. Amen. Mm. Amen. So dis waarom ek wil gehad het, jy moet die wees, ons wil alweer nog meer gesels ook maak. Nou dit gee my ook een idee, ek gaan ook oor die jaar retire, mens die beter nou my pleis kom kyk, al ons nou my moed wees. Dis briljant, ek retire oor die jaar. Last chance. Last chance to see Frank Opperman live. Last chance to see Frank Opperman, dis hy. So we launched this entire campaign around it, and we thought it would be a nice idea if we call it Apologies in Advance. 
because we have to apologize to you now for the stuff that you will be hearing over the next yep. year or so. So and the I'm going to mense kon ik in jou oor sien want hier is dinge wat op pad is. Ek kan dit sien. So I'm going to apologize in advance to you for what's going to be happening over the next year. Trust me, you're not going to forget it ever in your life again. So apologize in advance. The campaign kicks off and it's not just for uh, controversial stuff we'll be saying. It's also controversial things we'll be doing, mm-hmm. but also making you cry, making you laugh with some of the best GMAs, some of the best guests. All of this coming up. It's the complimentary breakfast.